your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, precipitation chances on the increase both tomorrow and Saturday. It's one of those deals where at times it's it's very, very light, almost nuisance. And then at other times it's a little heavier. So we take a peek outside. It's really a comfortable night. Skies are clear to partly cloudy. It's it's dry. It's comfortable after a real nice day today. Finally, uh, temperatures that have settled into the low 50s right now. Streets in Providence are dry. Wet roads tomorrow morning for the commute, but we're not anticipating heavy rain. In fact, I don't see like big puddles on the roads, but rather damp roads with very light rain showers that will be working in starting tomorrow morning. Currently 49 in Boroughville here in Providence, 55. Same deal in New Bedford and Taunton is cooler now coming in at 49 degrees with mainly clear skies. So showers are on tap for Friday. The game plan here is to have the precipitation very, very light during the daylight hours. As we get towards evening and Friday night, it does become a little steadier, a little heavier. Coastal storm on Saturday. That spells some rain and some wind. So we'll go rain likely turning very windy by Saturday. Saturday evening, Saturday night and on into Sunday. So Sunday is a blustery, gusty day, but it is the drier day and cool too with temperatures in the upper 40s. We may see gusts on Sunday, 30, 35 miles per hour, but at least most of the rain will be lifting up into northern New England at that time. So here in New England, it's quiet clouds on the increase and the weather players that we're tracking one you can clearly see across the Great Lakes in the Midwest area of low pressure and there's moisture off the uh, the mid-Atlantic coastline. So this is tracking east into uh, northern New England moisture coming up the coastline with a separate system both sort of working in tandem both Friday and Saturday to give us the precipitation. So those are the players. Let's take it into the future. Watch the time bar. This storm system moves up into southeastern Canada out ahead of it. Some very light showers working in uh, tomorrow morning. As we get into the uh, the afternoon and evening, a second storm system is developing offshore. This will enhance some of the rainfall tomorrow night into Saturday. Here we are Saturday morning and then both L's, both low pressure areas condense into one and intensify off the coast of Maine Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. But watch what happens Saturday night. The whole thing is lifting up into northern New England. We're actually drying out Saturday night. The wind is picking up. It's turning cooler. So by Sunday, it's a blustery, windy day cool but drier. Notice most of the rain is up in northern New England at that time. So we're getting real close. We we'll take a look at the forecast for um, the overnight hours with clouds on the increase. You see some of the light showers working in tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours. Mostly cloudy may get into a little bit of a low, but the real round of heavier rain watch is arriving Friday evening and into Friday night by 11 o'clock Friday night could even be some rumbles of thunder. So very light nuisance precipitation tomorrow morning. Some showers, damp roads, temps in the upper 50s to around 60. I would still keep the umbrella on standby for Friday afternoon with scattered light showers and temperatures in the middle 60s. That rain does become heavier Friday night. Rain likely on Saturday, drying out Saturday night, windy, blustery, drier, cooler on Sunday with a mix of clouds and sun and high temperatures only uh, in the upper 50s. I had to give the edge to Sunday as being the drier day, but it is kind of windy. Should be worried about slick roads, even though it's light rain. We talk about leaves and everything on the That's road. a good point. Wet leaves and when you have very, very light rain and some oil on the roads, mm. uh, you can get a little slippery. It's deceiving, so take it slow. Okay, Tony, yeah. thank you. Still